Hey Rob here and welcome back to Live the Boat. I'm here with my good friend Kelly Holly from Tom and Jerry's Marine in Washington. And Kelly is importing these new Makaira boats from New Zealand. Uh, this is the first of its kind, Kelly, here in the US. You just brought this in. The workmanship on this thing is just impeccable. And uh, we're gonna take a little spin on this and, and uh, see trial it and see how it goes. I know it's gonna go good, but uh, you guys were out the other day and had a great trip on it, right? I think you're really gonna enjoy it. Yeah. So yeah, I've had the opportunity to be on this boat a couple times already, and I was really amazed with just exactly what it would do, the way it handled, and uh, the performance we got out of it. And I think you're gonna find that the ride is exceptional. They did an excellent yeah. job on the whole one. Well, these guys know how to build a boat. We, we reviewed this at the Seattle Boat Show too, and yeah. we're just blown away with the welds and all the workmanship and how tight this boat is. and. Luckily, we got a little bit of wind here today, so we can really test the hull. Look at um, the test. Oh yeah, it looks like a little Viking, you know, like something you might see on the Marlin <laughs> ground somewhere. But we're excited to take this thing out and appreciate the opportunity, man. I think you'll enjoy it, and uh, you got a good day for it. So yeah. hopefully there'll be a little bit of wind out there, and you'll be able to yeah. get in some rough water too. Oh yeah, that's where it really shines. Right really on. Like Thanks, buddy. Okay. Yeah, we'll be seeing you All in right. a while. Enjoy maybe a few, it. maybe a few days actually. We okay. might just take it for a while. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. I'm here all week. All right. <laughs> We just ran out from Tom and Jerry's Marine on this 26 Makaira, powered with a 300 horsepower Mercury outboard, tons of power, uh, plenty of low end torque. We're gonna put this thing through a full sea trial here in a minute, but just wanted to show you real quick how this boat's put together. The workmanship on this craft is amazing. All the welds, everything is really tight. Got a nice workstation here with some rocket launchers on the back, uh, live bait well, a little bit of storage down below. Everything on this boat is aluminum or plastic. Uh, all the latches are plastic, all the knobs are aluminum, so there isn't any dissimilar metals uh, that, that really cause problems on an aluminum boat and create corrosion points. Uh, got a dive ladder here, a stern steering station that's independently connected to the kicker motor for trolling. Of course, got all your rocket launchers and your deck lights, full bulkhead, folding door. We've got the heat cranking in there. It's middle of winter out here on the San Juan Islands. A little chilly, so the heat's cranking in there, nice and comfortable in the cabin. This window is electric. It actually is operated from the dash here. We'll show you how this operates. So in the summertime, you can drop this window down, really open the cabin up. Let's step in the cabin. We'll show you what's going on inside. Nice, comfortable seating area here, port side. Uh, this table also pushes down. You can put a pad right across here, and this turns into a nice lounger. Got your nice refrigerator freezer here as well. Storage underneath the table. And then here on the starboard side, we've got our sink. Nice big sink right there. Nice surface area to work on right there. Storage, storage. A little marine oven there, which is awful nice, especially today. It's pretty chilly out here today. Okay, now moving on over to the helm station. You'll notice the bolster style seat, which we really like. When I left the dock, I had that bolster up so I could stand, leave the, leave the marina. And then of course, once you get up and running, you just fold that down there. Climb into your seat, nice foot pad here, stainless wheel with a steering knob, mercury controls right down here. All your switches are right here where you need them. Mercury gauge, of course your furnace control right here. We've got the furnace running today, pretty chilly out here. Big Garmin screen, Zipwake system. This boat even has a bow thruster on a 26 footer. This thing is ultra maneuverable at the marina. Of course your VHF radio as well. You'll notice the incredible visibility too. Uh, out this one piece curved window. This, this curved window is really nice. The, the rain and the water tends to blow right off that windshield when you're running. And then moving on down into the forecastle here, you've got your marine head right up here, conveniently located. And then you can pull this pad across. I'm not gonna put it in right now, but you can see where it fits in there. And this turns into a nice sleeping area. And again, everything is carpeted, has a really nice warm feel to it. Uh, all the way throughout this boat, really nicely done. Here's one of my favorite features about this cabin though, is the ability to drop that window down right there on the bulkhead and open the cabin right up for those warm summer days here in the San Juan Islands. That's a thing of beauty right there. Look at that. Uh, we're cruising at 26 knots, burning about 13 gallons an hour. Um, you know, with the zip wake system, that big aggressive bow, 19 degrees of dead rise in the stern, we're cruising right along here. You'll notice there's no pounding. Uh, this thing's just slicing right through this, this chop. You know, 
they build these boats in New Zealand. They're built for the ocean. So the whole design is ideal for just chewing through this chub that we've got here today. It's blowing 20 at least here, maybe north of that. It could be blowing 25. Pretty good amount of chub here on the San Juan Islands. I mean, we're at 23, we're at 24 knots here. The zip wig system is activated and this thing is chewing it up. Uh, you don't feel anything here. No pounding, no nothing. I'm gonna run it right up to 29, 30 knots. Pretty good chop here. And you can see this mega bow on this Makaira. It's just blowing through this chop. In fact, the faster we go, the better the ride is here. And uh, we're 30 knots now. Let's run it right on up. Now we're 30. 31 knots, 32 knots, and again, no pounding at all. Just slicing right through this chop out here. Really, really nice ride. And uh, 34 knots, 33 knots, slicing right through it. Wind's blowing out of the north. Nice February day in the San Juan Islands. The perfect day, really, to test out a boat like this Makaira, where you've got some water, you know, that really showcases what the hole can do. And uh, really not surprised, just looking at the hole, it looked like this is what, how it was gonna handle, and uh, it sure does. We're 33 knots. Heck, I think we could really crank it up. Yeah, full throttle, wide open throttle, and uh, piece of cake here, 36 knots. Okay, let's see how this Makaira corners now. Let's get this thing back to about 25 knots. Just judging by how it just handled in the chop, I bet you this thing corners on rails. All right, let's crank it over 27 knots. Let's crank it over hard here. <laughs> Look at that, no cavitation at all. On a dime. Now we're going to spin around the other way. Hard to port on an absolute dime. Look at that. It's like we're on rails. This thing is an absolute sports car. A lot of crab pots out here that I'm dodging, but uh, look at this. This thing handles like a sports car. That deep V really digs in and uh, turns on a dime. Absolutely amazing. I gotta be honest with you, I don't know if I've been in a 26 footer that handles as well as this Makaira. Uh, we're pretty lucky actually that we got weather like this today because we can really test this hole out. The wind's blowing 2025 out of British Columbia into the San Juan Islands here. A lot of chop. Kind of typical for the winter time here, and it's really a great day to test out this hole. Through this hole into a steep turn at 27, 28 knots. Turn on a dime, no cavitation at all. The outboard didn't blow out at all. Did a hard figure eight there. Dug right in, like handled on rails, you know, in that cornering exercise there. And then to be honest with you, we had this thing up to its top speed in this chop of about 35 knots. Not a single pound. No squeaks, no rattles, no vibrations, no nothing. The workmanship on this boat is absolutely incredible. The other thing I want to show you with this 26 Makaira is how it pops up out of the hole. And you see there's hardly any bow rise. As we get up on step here with a deep V hole like this, it's really remarkable how flat this thing comes out of the hole. Last thing I want to do is get this Makaira in some calm water here and uh, really open up this 300 horsepower Mercury Verado and just see what the top speed on this Makaira is in calm water. And let's see, 33 knots, 34. Yeah, top speed of 36 knots here. It's the same as we had up there in, this, in the chop. Hey, if you're interested in, in learning more about these, log on to makairaboats.com. They build them up to 35 feet long. 
Tom and Jerry's Boat Center in Mount Vernon, Anacortes area is importing these Makairas now. This is the first of its kind here in the U.S., but they've got more on the way. This has been a super fun sea trial. I can't believe how this boat handles. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down there. We'll see you next week on Live the Boat.